clarity session for what to do on your next steps to maximize the effectiveness of the time and effort that you've invested now into the e-commerce brand mastery summit. So I'm Kevin Sanderson. I'm the host of the brand mastery summit. If you've been watching the uh, summit content, you've probably seen my name and face around. So I'm super excited that you are here. So if you don't mind, if you're watching live, um, let me know, can you hear me okay? And so I know this sounds like a silly thing to ask, but I tend to find sometimes that uh, the audio doesn't work the way we want. In fact, yesterday, somebody was uh, messaging us that they were having audio issues, but other people were saying they didn't. So always like to just double check. So is this thing on? So if you don't mind, just in the comments, somewhere, just let us know like, Hey, yeah, I can hear you. Um, that would be super appreciated. So I'm going to do just a quick couple little things here in the background, um, while I'm working on this. So let me just, so I just want to, again, make sure you can hear me. So if you don't mind, just put in the chat. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Uh, that would make me feel a hundred times better, which would be much appreciated. So um, I'm just going to do a couple of quick administrative things here, and then we'll probably do a giveaway of some sort. And so uh, love giving stuff away. It kind of keeps it interesting, keeps it fun, helps keep people uh, engaged into the topic. And so today is going to be really about all about you and helping you get moving forward with some momentum on whatever your next steps are to really maximize the effectiveness of being in this summit. So um, while I'm just doing a couple things here real quick, I appreciate having you. I appreciate that you are here and I'm going to share this into the Facebook group. So if you're in the Facebook group and you haven't seen the link, I apologize. I'm getting it to you right away. So let me just share this to a group and we will get started. All right. So enough of that. All right. So again, everyone that's joining me live, uh, thank you for joining us live. For those of you watching the replay, thank you for joining us. And we're going to be talking about really what to do with the next steps of being part of the e-commerce brand mastery summit. And so, um, for those of you who are maybe watching this sometime in the future and you're probably like, what is he talking about? So we just got done with the e-commerce brand mastery summit. And so that is a summit that we're holding here in August of 2022, because a lot of us are really looking to grow our traffic and build a brand and take things to the next level in our businesses. And that's really what we're discussing here is what to do about all that. And so um, we've had an incredible three days. In fact, we've got a fourth day coming tomorrow. So that's over 20 amazing speakers. You're some of their smiling faces right there. Um, and it's been, it's been a lot of fun putting this on. And so, um, officially we had said the summit would end for everyone, um, with the content on the days of the summit. So that would be tomorrow, August 19th at midnight Eastern time. So Friday night. Um, however, I have made an announcement. So if you have not seen this and you have a general admission ticket, um, your access will be turned on and will stay on, I should say, through the weekend. So through Sunday night, uh, midnight Eastern time, you'll be able to continue to watch all the sessions. Now, if you have a VIP ticket, you don't even have to worry about that because your, um, your ability to watch the sessions will continue beyond um, the the end of the summit. So the summit, again, ends tomorrow, Friday, so tomorrow is the last day that we're adding new sessions. Um, if you have a general admission ticket, you will be able to continue watching even beyond Friday. So that's one of the fun things about all this is that, sorry, beyond Sunday. So Sunday, midnight Eastern time will be the final day. If you have a general admission ticket, you can still upgrade to a VIP ticket um, between now and then to keep the ongoing recordings. But after Sunday, we will not have VIP tickets available and we will not have um, the summit available. So those who have a VIP ticket before then or have upgraded to VIP, I should say, uh, have the ability to keep the summit content, which is nice so you can go back and watch when you're, uh, when you're ready to start implementing. And that's really what we're gonna talk about today. So um, getting into the whole implementation stage, um, you might feel like this. Does that sound familiar? 
Uh, or does this look familiar at all that you feel like you're just kind of drinking from a fire hose or in this example, a dog drinking from a fountain or I guess that's a sprinkler for a yard where it's just, it's almost coming, feels like it can be coming at you too much or too fast. And so the question a lot of times people have is what do I do? do about all this because the goal is not that you just learn stuff and you watch a lot of great presentations, which that is part of it. But the goal is that you get the results from being part of this summit. And so we want to help you get here a little bit of clarity. So I've got some frameworks that I like to talk about that I have helped me in my business. And I know have helped others as well. And that's really, sometimes you just got to see the forest through the trees, so to speak. You've probably heard that analogy that, you know, sometimes we get so wrapped up in our business and our ideas and what's in our head that sometimes it's hard to see sometimes what's even right in front of us of what those opportunities are. So we're going to talk about all of that here in just a moment. Um, so on that note, um, who would like to do a giveaway of some sort? So we'll do a giveaway here in just a minute before we start getting into some of my notes and frameworks. So did have a question here that comes in. How can I get access to some yesterday sessions? So if you're talking about the sessions that are in the members area, they're still there. So some summits, they say you get access to the content for 24 hours. I say I add more each day. And then I add more the next day, then I add more the next day. And so you have access to them. So if you have a general admission ticket, meaning you have not upgraded to VIP, you have access to those sessions until midnight Eastern time on Sunday night. So you can watch all the sessions to your heart's delight. More will come out tomorrow. Uh, so our final batch of uh, sessions will come out tomorrow. So the yesterday sessions you have access to now, you have access to the sessions that came out on Tuesday and the sessions that came out today, of course. And then tomorrow we will add more. So you'll have those. And then if you don't yet have your VIP ticket, you can always just go to maximizingecommerce.com. I'm a little wobbly there today. Um, you go to maximizingecommerce.com forward slash VIP and upgrade your ticket. Uh, just a little word of warning for folks tomorrow at Friday, tomorrow, Friday at midnight Eastern time, we will be increasing the price of the VIP upgrade. So if you're thinking about it, now's a good time to do that because the price will be going up before we cut off sales of the VIP upgrade here soon. So, all right. So I am going to do a little giveaway here. So I am just kind of curious what, what has been your biggest aha, biggest learning, whatever you'd like to call it, uh, so far as part of the summit. So if you don't mind, leave that in the comments and, um, we will, we will put that towards, uh, maybe do a little giveaway. So remember, I highly encourage participation and we oftentimes give things away to those who participate. And so we've got a decent number of people joining us both on YouTube uh, Facebook and LinkedIn. So if you're joining us and you can hear the sound of my voice, just a quick little, I'm just curious, what has been your biggest aha or something you've learned, some little golden nugget from this summit and that might incorporate a giveaway. So if you can hear the sound of my voice somewhere in the comment section, just put the, yes, I can hear you. And here's what I'm thinking. So uh, while you're doing that and thinking about that. So, um, so David said, Travis Ziegler session, Travis, if you don't know him is phenomenal. He is very good at explaining things. Uh, Travis, the session, if you've not watched it, it was all about, uh, basically email list building that he's done and, you know, building a brand that matters and having an email list to drive traffic to sales, uh, which could be on Amazon. He gave a lot of Amazon related examples, but they don't necessarily have to be. They can also be to your own website. And so he had a lot of really good stuff. I, I enjoyed his session and Travis, if you don't know this, he, and he mentioned this in his session, but if you don't know Travis, he used to be an eye doctor. And so most eye doctors tend to develop this very soothing voice. If you've ever been to the eye doctor and they say, will that be a or B B or C? Um, then, uh, you tend to 
you tend to kind of like get this kind of soothing voice, I guess, doing that over time to just make people feel comfortable with doing all that. And so he, um, he's got that soothing voice and he's very good at explaining things and just seems, everything just seems so calm and it's all going to work out. And so, yeah, I, 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 Travis is great and he's very good at explaining things. So glad you like that. And, uh, another shout out to Travis's session and how to get external traffic. So yeah, we did talk a lot today about external traffic. And if you are a VIP currently, you'll have the ability to, um, come to our VIP Q and a session, which will be later on, uh, at 2 PM Eastern time. So in about 45 minutes, and that'll be with Chris Schaefer and Scott Volker, who are two excellent, excellent speakers on the topic. Sorry, that was kind of loud there on the topic of, uh, getting your, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Getting external traffic, which you can, when you have traffic, you can control, you can send it anywhere. And so one of the things people, um, I think can benefit from is building an email list. If you don't have an email list, build an email list somehow, some way. Everybody starts at zero. I remember, you know, when I started maximizing e-commerce, um, I have an email list of about 6,000 total people. I can't necessarily email all of them. Some of them are abandoned carts. And I've realized if I email abandoned carts from like a year ago that, you know, they uh, started the process of buying something and didn't, now they're going to be like, who is this guy? And why is he emailing me? Um, you know, some people have unsubscribed and whatnot, but I have a list that can also use to, uh, for advertising purposes, I can upload to Facebook, but I have, I'll just say this. Um, you know, some of you watching this join the summit because oftentimes an email, sometimes in social media, uh, someone, you know, of, um, said, Hey, I'm speaking at this summit or, Hey, I think you should check out the summit. Uh, here's a link, um, go to it. I now, because of the summits I do and the list I've built up, I tend to be my biggest referral source. So the list of people who are on the maximizing e-commerce list tend to be the people that keep buying over and over again. And the genius part of it, not, not my genius, it's just the way the system works is when you have a email list, the people that you develop an email list over time are going to be the type of people who are going to want to buy whatever products you're offering. So if I have a list of people who come to virtual summits and I say, Hey, I'm doing another virtual summit, they're going to be more likely than the general public of saying, yes, I'd like that, raise their hand, pull out their credit card and purchase that, whatever that is. So if you have a product and you're offering it for sale and you have an email list and you can say to that email list, Hey, you've bought tumblers before I have a new tumbler that came out, check it out. You're emailing a very friendly, warm list of people that are going to be interested in that. And so anything you can do, if you have an email list with three people on it or 30,000 people, it doesn't matter because you're starting from, we all start from zero. And so over time, if you can figure out ways and, um, in Chris Schaefer and Scott Volker's, uh, sessions, they talked about ways of getting more people onto your list. And so definitely check those out in addition to Travis's session and similar type of, uh, philosophies. Um, and then, you know, you could also potentially do YouTube. And so, Today, we had a lot of really good speakers on stuff. It's not necessarily the typical, I don't want to say typical Amazon content, but the, the content that oftentimes we generally associate with the Amazon world. I think it's good to consume both Amazon and e-commerce related content that's like kind of core foundational principles, I should say, and then also get some content that's more about um, just taking things to that next level and getting kind of outside of the sphere of information that you're normally in and looking at different things that you could potentially incorporate into your business. And so that was one of the exciting things about today's content. So I was really excited about the speakers and sessions we had coming out today. Now, Travis's came out on Monday um, and have had great feedback on that. And then also PEP17, PEP17, thank you for confirming that you can hear me. So that's awesome. Uh, so I do want to say, I want to give credit to David Lynn and Sally Ann Thrifty for messaging me 
and or messaging in the comments and saying what their biggest takeaways are. And so, like I said, I do like to reward folks for that kind of stuff. And so if you could email Kevin at maximizing ecommerce.com, David, I think this might be the first time you've won something. I could be wrong. Uh, Sally and thrifty. I think you've gotten quite a few different things. Email me and just say, Hey, you said I could get something. I got to look and see what I've got in your profiles because Sally Ann thrifty, you, you, I think you guys won quite a bit. So I got to look and see what I can give you, um, which is a good problem to have. So congratulations. And thank you for your, uh, um, your participation and David as well. Um, I'll get you access to potentially our upcoming expand to the UK fast track workshop, uh, which the folks at Avast accounting will be working with me on and that'll come out sometime, uh, early next month. So, uh, keep an eye out for that. So, all right. So now let's get into the heart of the topic of basically what to do next. And so let's just talk about move my mic. So hopefully you can still hear me. Okay clarity on what's next. Now, first, I think sometimes it's important to start with why. Why do we need to get clarity on what's next? Like, why not just, yeah, yeah, I can, I've got a to-do list. I've got all this different stuff. Well, one thing that's a common entrepreneurial problem, and I'm looking at myself in the, not the mirror, but I can see myself in the preview screen. Um, one thing we all have an issue with, and I definitely do, and almost everyone that's an entrepreneur, because when you're an entrepreneur, you don't have someone sitting over your shoulder and saying, do this, do that. So most of us watching this, so, some maybe work for a company or whatever the case is, and that's great. But for a lot of us, even if you don't, work for yourself, you work for a company, um, sometimes you still have to be a self-starter because maybe your boss doesn't understand what you're doing. But for those of us who are entrepreneurs, who are the business owners, we sometimes get caught in this idea trap. We're consuming, consuming, consuming. And we're like, I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about that. And we end up with this like long to-do list of, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And then suddenly it's six months, a year, two years down the road. We look at somehow we find this list of things that we were going to do and nothing is accomplished. And then we just beat ourselves up. And again, talking to myself here and talking to other people. So in order to avoid that as much as possible, I think one of the things we got to figure out is we've got different colors here. So I'm going to pick purple now. Where are you now? Forgive my atrocious handwriting, but you got to ask yourself that question. As Tony Robbins would say, don't make it worse than it is or better than it is. Just realistically, where are you now in your business? Just take an assessment of where are you and then where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Hopefully at least the verbal part makes sense because I can barely read my own writing. If you can read my writing, I'm proud of you. Um, so where do you want to go? And so you want to say, where are you now? Where do you want to go? So if I want to go from Florida to Seattle, Washington, um, I got to be realistic about the fact that I'm in Palm city, Florida and not say, I think I'm actually in Texas because that would change things. That would change what roads I start down. Um, and so I think it's all about figuring out where are you? So where are you now and where do you want to go? Because if you can figure out where you are now and figure out what is it you want to do next because you realistically understand where you are now and just kind of objective, like, okay, this is where I'm at. My business is at this level. You know, my business is just starting. My business is at six figures. My business is a million dollars or business is whatever. So you just kind of got to figure where are you now? What are the things that you're good at, not so good at, and you need help with? And what opportunities do you potentially have 
So you can start figuring out where do you want to go? And so then what is the gap between where you are now and where do you want to go? And then what you want to do is start looking at, okay, what potential opportunities do you have? So you have this, where are you now? Where do you want to go? And, you know, what is that gap in between? And with that, like, what are some opportunities as far as like, I like to look at it in the e-commerce world, you know, there's the day to day, which is great, but then there's oftentimes for us, there's some peak seasons. Now I am very biased to this because I tend to do extremely well in Q4. I have products that are very giftable. Um, you might have maybe something that's a, a winter type product potentially seasonal, or you might have something that's a spring or summer type product. And, you know, we're getting kind of to the end of the summer season, but for some people, now's the time you start thinking about what you're going to do next year to prepare yourself. And so I do that like in January, I start thinking about what can I do now for the next holiday season? So after Christmas is over and I've had a chance to kind of recuperate and rest, then I start thinking about, okay, what are, what, what can I do for my next peak season? So this is when you start getting into where are you now and where do you want to go? And as long as you know that, then you can start figuring out, okay, this gap in between and these opportunities I have coming up, what can I have that's going to really help me with that? And so it, for those of you who are, have been in the summit, I would say the best thing to do is start just writing out now while you're watching this, just keep a little list. One thing I like to do is I like to, when I'm writing out like things I want to do, put like a little check mark box next to it. So I write out, like do whatever. And then I've got like a little check mark box next to it so I can check it off my list. Maybe that's very type A analytical to do it that way. I don't know, but you want to make like, I say a little check box that tells me that that's an action item. So then if you have this list of action items, be realistic of the fact that you don't necessarily know which ones you're going to work on next. You can at least get it out of your head. What are these ideas that I have? Or as you're watching a session, I liked, and I'll use the example because we had a couple of people mention Travis. I like Travis's idea of, you know, posting blog posts and, you know, all of, uh, you know, doing this and having email lists and stuff. That's all great. So um, what you want to do is say, okay, of these things on my list where I've got like this little ones, what's going to give me the best return on investment of not just the money that you might have to put into this, but so money, time, and effort, time and effort are somewhat synonymous, but of how much work is it going to be to do that? And so what you're trying to figure out is, okay, if you have a limited amount of time and maybe you have a full-time job and if you have a full-time job and you might have this much compressed time for three years running my own business, I had a full-time job. And so it was you know, sometimes people say like, oh, you got your nine to five and your five to nine. Mine was more like my nine to five and then my nine to midnight. So it was after the kids went to bed and everything had kind of settled in at home. Then I could start working on the job, my, my job, I should say, my business. And so you might have a compressed amount of time or maybe you do this full time. But what I came to learn after I went full time, and if you are full time in your business, you might relate to this. You can have a hundred hours a day, but you might not necessarily, if whether you have three hours a day to devote to the business or a hundred hours a day, which of course is unrealistic, but doesn't matter what you have, you can qu quickly fill that up. And just because you have maybe three or four times the amount of time during the day, to spend on your business doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get three or four times the amount of stuff done. Going back to, it can be hard sometimes when you don't have a boss who's like hovering over you saying, do this. Why didn't you do this? So you got to create time pressure sometimes. I love that peak seasons are happening for me because that puts time pressure on me to get things done. Now, 
maybe some of this is my own personality and my own work style. And some of this, you got to know your personality and work style. But I'll just say this real quick. One of the reasons I host events like this is because it puts me on the hook to get it done. So if you've signed up and you say, hey, I will be there for this summit, and I tell all these speakers, hey, I'm going to have this um, this summit for you over these days, and I tell the sponsors, hey, we're going to have this summit over these days, I've committed to a lot of people that something's going to happen. And that time that we've promised everybody's going to come and go. Now, that's a time commitment to that I have created, but I've put an external pressure on it. In some cases, it might just be based on the product you've uh, chosen to sell. You might have a peak time that's in the Q4 or it's you know back to school, which is wrapping up right now probably for those type of products or something that's you know winter or whatever, you know, spring, summer, if it's like in the gardening or, or outdoor niche. And so it just depends on your product. And so, you know, I can't miss that window of time. And so the reason I bring that up is because when you're trying to figure out like, what am I going to do next? And so when you have, when you know your next peak season is coming up, like if you're like me and it's Q4, it's, it's going to be here before you know it. Like right now, um, we're a little over three months away from Black Friday, but it will be here quick. And so we want to make sure what are those peak seasons and what's going to give us the best return investment of our time, money, and effort, because it can be very easy to just say, I'm just going to do everything and do everything, and do everything. Maybe there are some things where you have to kind of chunk it up. And so like, for example, if you want to build that email list that Travis talked about in the blog post, like he had an example where it's like, you know, let's say you did a weekly uh, blog post and at the end of the year, you'd have like 52 blog posts and, you know, maybe that's something you're hiring out a writer for um, and all this stuff. It's still going to take you some time to manage that. But, he, but really when he was saying, he wasn't like, hey, in a year you can have 50 blog posts. He was saying, hey, in a week if you did it weekly or you did it monthly or whatever the case is, or twice a month, um, you know, over time, that's just going to give you a certain amount of content out there. And so if you take a look at it from the standpoint of like, I will just use Travis's example, it was chunking it up in phases. So maybe for you, if that's something you're going to go towards, it's figuring out, you know, what are some things to write about? So maybe that's your next step or, hiring a writer. Um, and if you're looking for places to hire a writer, it could be Upwork, whatever. One interesting place, and I will probably be hiring someone from this place, is there's a place called problogger.com. Uh, Problogger has been around for a long time, but it's basically a lot of people that want to be professional bloggers. And you can post a job and say, hey, um, I want to have a weekly, monthly, whatever blog post on stainless steel water tumblers, which you wouldn't actually write about stainless steel tumblers. You would talk about the things that get people interested in it. What problems are people trying to solve by purchasing your product? And then th they would write about those type of things and you would help them figure out the content and whatnot. So, you know, maybe posting that job on ProBlogger or wherever else you're going to start posting to find writers that you could potentially work with. So that's, you know, chunking it down into smaller steps. So it's that, that whole saying of, you know, if you're going to eat an elephant, how do you do it one bite at a time? And so if you have a big elephant of a project, that's your best ROI. Now start breaking it down into smaller pieces. So you've maybe picked, okay, this is the thing I want to focus on. It's going to be the best return on investment and then start saying, okay, what do I start needing to do? So if it's, I want to have 50 blog posts on a blog next year. Um, those are inputs that you can, you, you can influence. You can't necessarily influence or you can influence, but you don't have control of the outputs. Uh, but you can at least start with the inputs. And so what to get those inputs accomplished and executed on, what are those next steps that I would need to do? So start focusing on those next steps. And then that would be very beneficial for you. So um, 
maybe for you, it's, and if you watch some of my content, you know, I'm very pro international selling. So maybe for you, your next steps are maybe you want to try to get into the UK to sell there. So figure out what are those steps you need to do to get up and selling by Q4, if that's your upcoming peak season, because now time is of the essence to get things done for Q4. Um, and so these are some general tips that I have. Um, and so with that, um, I will open up to questions if anyone has questions. And then on that note, uh, David Lynn said, uh, smiley face because David had won. So David will be emailing me. Oh, and if you're watching me and you won something yesterday, I'm not ignoring you. Uh, sometimes I just get a little bit behind when we have, uh, um, uh, summits. And so just, I will take care of it by end of day today and I'll be caught up on all the things I've promised people. So, uh, and then Sally Ann thrifty Wahoo. Yes. Wahoo to you also won something for participating earlier. I did promise participation and then, um, wowie, you nailed the prof that profile, I guess, because I said pep 17. So did I, say it right or did now I butcher myself. So, all right. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them into the comments and the chat, and then we'll just otherwise just kind of keep talking, but I got to give my, my, uh, let me clear my throat. And you know that song. I need to give myself a little, uh, break done a lot of talking the last few weeks, as I'm sure you can imagine between the recordings and all this other fun stuff. So I hope everybody's enjoyed the summit. It's a lot of fun to put these things together. Um, and so hopefully this, I know this sounds very basic, but and a lot of this is stuff you probably already know. One of the things I've come to realize, and I got to keep reminding myself this, it's not about knowing, it's about executing. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power. So it's all about what will you do with it. And so understanding some frameworks, and it could be just simple things like, where are you now? What are some things you could do? And so the funny thing was, so I, I'm in a office with a warehouse in the back and my landlord dropped by um, earlier today and we were talking and he does uh, consulting for local businesses. And so he was talking about, um, a chiropractor who had hired him thinking they needed this grandiose, huge strategy of how to drive more patients, more people coming in looking for adjustments. And he said to, to the woman who was the chiropractor, why don't you do this? Just get a little A-frame sign. You know, the little signs people put in the sidewalk. that's like, we're open with an arrow or something like that. It was basically, I don't know what it said on it. Something like, you know, chiropractor available. And he said, on the busy days, put a helium balloon and tie it to it. He said, it's amazing the amount of traffic that she got. Now, that was something that was very simple and very basic, you know, because sometimes we think we need these grandiose and do all these complicated things here. This woman now putting an A-frame sign in front of your house or your warehouse would probably not drive a lot of traffic to Amazon or your e-commerce store. But sometimes there's just simple things you could do that don't have to be overly complicated that can help you get those where are you now? And then get you closer to where do you want to go? And so that's one of the things I think is super exciting about um, business is that oftentimes if we just focus on how do I make this a little more simple and not overly complicated because we can get our emotions can sometimes take us in these circles <laughs> chasing our tail on things that really don't even matter. But because sometimes and we're all guilty of this, myself included, we get so excited about some short, some sort of shiny object. It was kind of a tongue twister there. Uh, we get so excited about some sort of shiny object that we say, I have to focus on this. I got to do this. I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to, I got to. And then we think it's going to be this complicated thing, but oftentimes we can see it in other people, but we have trouble seeing it in ourselves and vice versa. They, they might see in us where our blind sides are and we can't see it in, uh, or we can see it in them, but they can't see it in themselves. And then, you know, again, vice versa. So that's why sometimes it's good to have 
someone that you meet with every now and then just to go through your business. I've got a couple of people that I have somewhat formal masterminds with or informal. I've been in several of them over the years. If you don't have one, let's say this is kind of what kind of puts it all together is find somebody that you can meet with and just discuss, Hey, here's something I'm working on. And oftentimes they'll come up with a simple solution that you had never thought of. And you'll come up with a simple solution for them that they had never thought of. Because again, this, like, it's going to require all this stuff. No, just do this, you know, and oftentimes that's what happens in business. So, all right. So with that, I think we're going to do another little giveaway here in a second. So we might have a little bit of a delay, which is okay. So I'm, while we're doing that, I'm just going to give a quick little reminder to folks that today um, is Thursday and we have content that came out on Tuesday, Wednesday, today, and then again tomorrow for the summit. So if you have a general admission ticket, uh, originally we said that that would end on Friday at midnight Eastern time. So that'd be tomorrow as we uh, record or we're live. Um but I changed that. And so you actually will have access until Sunday at midnight Eastern time. If you're watching this on Thursday or Friday, the VIP upgrade, excuse me, will go up in price tomorrow night, tomorrow, Friday at midnight Eastern time. It'll still be available over the weekend, but then we will stop selling it on Sunday at midnight Eastern time. So if you are interested in purchasing that upgrade, you can always go to maximizingecommerce.com forward slash VIP. And if you're watching this well into the future, you're like, what is all this brand mastery summit thing he's talking about? No worries. You can, it'll, that, that link will forward you to a, uh, probably a wait list so you can get on for a future event because I plan to do more of these. I really do enjoy them. They're a lot of fun. So, all right. So let's do a little bit of a giveaway here. So for those of you who are watching, um, if you if you would like uh, to be part of a giveaway, um, I'm going to give away, let's focus on PPC. I think PPC is one of those things that for folks will always be beneficial. So let me move this microphone. As I, so we have had four PPC Mastery Summits. So PPC Mastery Summits. We had one in 2020, 2021, and then another one for Q4 in 2021. So that's two of them. So that's three total so far, plus the one we just did in May for 2022. That's four summits. So I will give away all those summits, uh, the recordings of, and also give you the PPC bulk file mastery workshop where I walk through How to uh, how to use bulk files? Which, if you don't use bulk files, learn it. Whether you you know have access to that workshop or not, or Elizabeth Green, one of our speakers, she has a lot of great content on bulk files. Learn bulk files; they will save you so much time and money. I tend to find. You know, there's so many places you got to click and go here and go there to make, you know, even simple changes in Seller Central. They've gotten better with some of them, but there's still a lot of clicking around between campaigns. So as you start having lots of campaigns and you're trying to figure out, like, where do I need to make changes? It can be hard. It can be hard trying to figure out. So with the bulk file mastery workshop, uh, we go through some very simple ways to do that. And then with all of these, this is about $800 in value. Uh, plus the bulk file mastery as well. So this is well over $800 in value. Um, this is uh, probably about 60, 70 hours of actionable content from some of the best PPC experts in the business. We're going to give this away for free because I like doing giveaways. It's kind of fun. So all you got to do if you're interested is put in the words or the letters P. 
PC as in pay per click. So all you got to do is type the word pay per click PPC to be entered to win. And then you have to be live for this. If you're watching this in the future, make sure you attend the live stuff where you can. Um, but we will give you access to the PPC Master Summit 2020, 2021, Q4 um, PPC Summit from last year, this year's PPC Master Summit and the PPC Bulk File Mastery Workshop, which I just actually recently updated. So I'll get you access to all of that. All you got to do is type in PPC into the... Um, into the chat and I'll get you access to all of Well, I'll do a drawing, I should say, to get you access into all that. So if you'd like to enter to win, I just want to be clear about that. If you'd like to enter to win, type in PPC into the chat and um, I don't know, maybe we'll do something where everybody's a winner. So let me just, oh, and just a little plug. A lot of people, and I'm one of these myself too. I always just kind of watch these from afar. And then I realize, oh, I should have entered to win something. So here, yes, you're watching me live. It is, if you're watching live, you are watching me live. It's 1.42 p.m. Eastern time here on the East Coast of the U.S., same time zone as Miami. And Same time zone as Miami and New York and Charlotte and Atlanta and Detroit. Who else? Who else is in the Eastern time zone? There's a lot of Baltimore, DC, Toronto. Give a shout out to the Canadians. Um, so, okay. So let's do this. And I'm just getting a couple things ready. So, if you're watching on a delay, I am sorry. But for those of you who are watching now, you, you can you can potentially win access to all four of the previous PPC Mastery Summits, plus the PPC Bulk File Workshop, the recordings of all of that. And all you got to do is type in PPC into the chat to be entered to win. And so on that note, let's go ahead and bring up... Who do we have here? All right, so let's share the screen again. So we've got, where is my, oh, just having trouble finding my cursor. All right, so we've got, Sally Ann Thrifty. We've got Pep 17. We've got Laura. We've got David. We have EFX Performance. Make sure I got everybody real quick. So Sally Ann Thrifty, the first one on there. Pep 17, uh, Laura A. Roy, David Lynn, EFX Performance. Sally Ann Thrifty says Toronto. Yes, Toronto is in the Eastern time zone. Uh, David Lynn is in Chicago, which is awesome. Although Chicago, if that's what you're referring to, is central time zone, right? I'm 99% positive. I could be wrong. Akron, Ohio, which I believe is also on the Eastern time zone. So yes, so we got Eastern time zone representing. Um, so we're going to call last call here in just a moment for folks joining us. Oh yes, David confirmed central, central time. So that's awesome. NCM is, NCM is joining us from California. So representing the Pacific uh, time zone. Uh, so that's awesome. And NCM has also entered to win. So we got NCM. So again, if you want to be entered to win, now is the time. Time is of the essence. We're running out of time. So if you are watching this 
and you're maybe delayed. I sometimes do that. I catch a live stream uh, a little late and then I just rewind it to the beginning. So if that's the case with you and you're like, I thought I was watching it live and you maybe were a little delayed, that's okay. But we are going to be cutting it off here in just a moment after I take a brief drink. And then I say going once, going twice. And so you have a very good chance of winning PPC Mastery Summits 2020, 2021, 2021 Q4 edition. Um, and uh, 2022 and the PPC bulk file mastery workshop. And we've got, Oh, someone else representing California. Oh, wait, it's, I moved. I'm in a different room than I have been the rest of the summit. So my monitors on the opposite side of where it normally is. And I didn't adjust the settings. So it's throwing me off when I move the cursor around, um, in case I look completely lost, uh, EFX, Randy is EFX. So, Hey, Randy. And in SoCal, so representing SoCal, University of Southern California, which is now a Big Ten school, or will be a Big Ten school. Total side note, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, it's a college football, college sports thing. All right, so it is now time. So we said going once, going twice. So before, yep, no. That, that's it. So we are done now. So we have six. So all of you that entered to win, which there's many more of you that are watching live. Um, we've got, and uh, EFX said, no, UVA. So, oh, UVA. Uh, excellent school. Excellent school, which is the ACC. So we got the ACC in the house. I went to Texas Tech, which is a big 12 school. And so anyhow, side note, so we've got one and six, so one and six. So we will let the folks at random org decide, or at least their algorithm will decide who is the winner. So if your number of the row that you're on, on my spreadsheet comes up, which is based on the order that people put themselves into the chat, at least from the order I see here on my screen, um, then you will be the winner. So one and six. It's six. So who is six? NCM, the last one to come in there. So NCM, if you email Kevin at maximizing ecommerce.com, um, then you will win. So, so we said David and um, Sally and Thrifty would win something earlier. I think I said expand to UK fast track. And if Sally Ann won that, we'll win something else. Um, NCM, you get the PPC power up pack basically, plus the, um, the workshop. And so, you know what, just for fun. And like I said, I like to reward participation. So Sally Ann thrifty pep 17, Laura, uh, David and EFX performance, AKA Randy, uh, the five of y'all email Kevin at maximizing ecommerce.com too. Um, and you will get access to the PPC bulk file mastery workshop. So I'm going to reward you for at least getting in there. So you get a participation by getting the PPC bulk file mastery workshop, which the folks who have, uh, watched that have said it really was helpful and helped them position some things in PPC in ways that they had never thought of. And so, um, it'll help you save a lot of time and effort. And all you got to do is email Kevin at maximizing ecommerce.com. Let me see if I can find my cursor again. Let's see. I'm totally lost. I'm on the wrong screen. Uh, so, and with that, oh, I did say Kevin at maximizing ecommerce.com. Let me just bring that up on the screen. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. There we go. Yes. Just email Kevin at maximizing ecommerce.com. Those of you who entered but did not win, email me and I will give you access to the bulk, bulk file mastery. NCM, um, who did win, email me and I'll give you access to all of that. So, congratulations. That's awesome. And, um, oh, email. 
right there on the screen, Kevin at maximizing ecommerce.com. Yeah, definitely don't forget that one because, um, I have no idea how I would find the needle in the haystack of EFX performance. Maybe I could find it within the, uh, e the email list, but that's why I always say, just email me to say that you were the winner. And for all of you watching, you can always go back and watch the replay just to make sure, just to make sure. So, uh, otherwise I take it all by the, uh, uh, honor system. So, all right. So NCM one, uh, Oh, EFX performance. Yeah. You won the bulk file mastery. So, um, so congratulations there. And NCM, if you're still here watching, make sure you write down that email address. For those of you who are part of the summit, uh, we will have more content come out tomorrow by 9 a.m. Eastern time. I've been trying to stay way ahead of that. So sometimes it's available like an hour or two before that, but I just advertise 9 a.m. to at least give myself a, uh, a fudge factor, but I try to exceed that. Um, so it will be available tomorrow. And then... I did say originally that if you had the general admission ticket that you would have until midnight Eastern time tomorrow, but we have eh, canceled that plan and we're now going all the way to Sunday midnight Eastern time and you would be able to have access to all of the sessions. And so um, that's extra time. But if you don't have a VIP ticket, uh, your access will cut off and we will not be selling VIP tickets after midnight Eastern time on Sunday. So if you're interested in registering for VIP or upgrading your ticket to VIP, then you want to get that. Now, if you already have a VIP upgrade, great. You don't have to worry about this. But um, for those of you who do have a VIP up or, or do not have a VIP upgrade and you want to get one, the price will go up on Friday. Um, and so sometimes people will say like, oh, you put a countdown timer. I just assumed that was just a marketing play. No, it's for real. Um, so, uh, and if you're watching this, you're like, what's the summit? Like you can always go to brandmasterysummit.com. Do I even have that? Yeah, I do. You can purchase a ticket. I will stop selling tickets to the, the just the regular tickets in general at six o'clock on Sunday. No, sorry. Six o'clock on Friday. I want to make sure I speak correctly. Six o'clock PM on Friday. So just a little more than 24 hours from now as we uh, uh, state this. And so um, if, you, if you're watching this, and you're like, what's all this Brand Mastery Summit stuff? Hey, for just $7, you can get access to some amazing sessions and you have access to it through Sunday. And if you want, you can always upgrade to VIP to keep the ongoing access, as well as you would have the ability to get a $50 credit with PickFu. So thank you to our sponsors, PickFu, um, for doing that. And so uh, Sally Ann Thrifty said, thanks again. And S1 Marketing, so due today, Sunday is far below elbow cough. I don't know that I quite get that. But maybe if I saw the emoji, it would make more sense to me. Um, so anyway, so hopefully that was saying that like through Sunday was good because then that gave more time than what we originally advertised. So I like to over deliver on these things. So it has been an absolute pleasure. Uh, tomorrow, same time, 1 p.m. Eastern time, we will be joined by Christian Kelm from Amalyze to talk about keywords. They've got a really cool keyword tool that will show keywords in ways that I don't normally ever see. Um, and they have some unique ways of looking at things. And so I would definitely recommend checking out uh, 1 p.m. tomorrow. We'll sure we'll have some sort of uh, giveaway for that as well. So uh, join us then. And then if you are a VIP, check your inbox because in five minutes at 2 p.m. Eastern time, we will have a live only session, um, which is exclusive for VIPs. And that will be with Scott Volker and Chris Schaefer. And you can ask questions from two amazing people. And I'll just say this, Scott Volker and Chris too, they're both amazing people. I would not be hosting events and probably in the Amazon business if it hadn't been for Scott Volker. So uh, two amazing people and you get to pick their brains for free as part of your VIP package. So uh, look forward to seeing you there if you're a VIP. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. And if you're watching this in the future, like what is all the stuff you're talking about? Uh, just get on the email list. And so that way we can uh, let you know when other summits come available because we have a lot of good fun and a lot of uh, great content that's actionable and helpful. So thank you and I wish you the best.